Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy chapter 28. And give me yokes of iron. Okay, do you know about the history of black people in slavery and how they had yokes of iron upon their neck? You know about that, but how do you? How do you? 22. 22. Right, in the school systems, when, when, when I know in, in history class, they got a whole, just about the whole year, in history class, is white, 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 George, George, George Washington, this, that, and the third. And then they give you one little section of black history. That's the Jim Crow era, right? They might give you a little bit of uh, uh, Martin Luther King, and then you got slavery. That's all they teach about in our history classes. And the rest is George Washington, all, all of the excellence of the, the so-called Caucasian man, right? But the Bible talks about the history of the black man, but the school systems don't. Why? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Come on. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemy. So the Bible says the real people of God, the chosen people of God, shall serve their enemies. Meaning what? Slavery. Slavery. We. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Which the what? Which the Lord shall send against thee. So the Bible says the Lord sent the other nations against the so-called black man. The so-called Israel or the real Jews of the Bible. Why? Verse 15. I'm going to show you why. That you, Because you may be thinking, how are the so-called black men, how are they the chosen people of God when they live in the worst communities? Because we broke the commandments of God that was given to us. And for a punishment, he set the other nations over us. We. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass, come on. if thy will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says, if the Israelites will not listen to God's commandments, that's the voice of the Lord thy God. That's what that's talking about. That thou shalt not, we, to observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to do all his commandments. That was a requirement of the so-called black man, the Hispanic man. The chosen people of God. Right. That was a requirement for us to be on top, Bring to rule over the nations. Right. We and his statutes, come on. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So guess what? The Bible says that God gave us commandments, gave the so-called black man, Hispanic man commandments, the real Jews of the Bible. And I want you to go tell your friends who the real Jews are according to the Bible. We go back to what you have, verse 48. Yes, sir. Therefore, thou shalt serve thine enemy. So because the chosen people of God who are known today as niggers, as spicks, as three-fifths of a man that are in that are hid in prison houses, we which the Lord shall send against thee Come on. in hunger and in thirst. So guess what? If the so-called black man today want any establishment, anything, food, water, anything, we and in nakedness, and in what, and, and in want of all things, and in one of all things, and in one of all things, the promises, the promise to Abraham was that his seed was going to inherit the world, that the world was supposed to be given to the chosen seed of Abraham. So when God says that they shall ask and want for everything. That's a curse because the black man is not, not supposed to be asking for anything. Right. But now we need the, 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 the assistance of the police to govern our communities. Now we need Section 8 because we can't take care of ourselves all because we disobeyed God's laws, my brother. Right. This message is for you. We, and he shall put a yoke of iron. He shall do what? Put a yoke of iron to the Bible. This is the Bible. This, this is the Bible. It says, he shall put a yoke of iron upon your neck, upon your ancestors. That's what he shall do. But they're not going to teach you that that's in the Bible. They're not going to teach you and to correlate that with history. All they're going to give you is Martin Luther King. That's all our people know today. Martin Luther King and go to sleep. Martin Luther King and smoke some weed. Martin Luther King, go commit fornication. Martin Luther King, go sell drugs. That's all they know. Wake them weed. up. A yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So guess what? Historically, when we were set free, when they let the yokes of iron upon our necks, 
the reason why they, they took the chains off our necks because we were destroyed mentally. We were destroyed mentally. We discontinued from our heritage. Give me that. The Bible says that we discontinued from our heritage. The chosen people of God. I know we don't look like it. I know you don't look like it. But guess what? If you come back to the laws of God, he will receive you. He will receive you in his kingdom for you to rule over the nations. Read. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself. So the Bible says thou, meaning the prophet Jeremiah. Jeremiah at this time didn't discontinue from his heritage. He knew who he was. Showing you that the spirit of Jeremiah, the spirit of our ancestors, shall regenerate on the earth today. We shall discontinue from thine heritage. So the Bible says the, 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 the prophet Jeremiah, who was an Israelite, and his people shall discontinue from their heritage. Who is that today? Who discontinued from their heritage? Who's calling themselves African American one minute and they call themselves Negro the next? They call themselves Afro American? They call themselves Black? Bring it out. Who? That's the people of the oppressed. That's the people in the ghettos where the real Jews reside. Right. We. That I gave thee. That who? That I gave thee. So the Bible says God gave us a heritage. God gave us a law. Bring it out. But we chose not to adhere to it. We chose not to listen to it. Record, take pictures of it, and send it to your friends and tell them I learned who the real choos the chosen people of God are. Right. right. We and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies. You do what? Serve thine enemies. So guess what? God is the reason why the black man today is in servitude at the bottom, serving his enemies. God has enemies. According to the Bible, God does have enemies. John 3, 16. Because I know the, the people in today's time, they believe that God loves everybody. John 3, 16. God so loved the world. You telling me, my brother, that God has enemies and I know John 3, 16? Well, we're going to show you that John 3, 16, that God so loved the world, is not talking about everybody. God created all people, but he don't love everybody the same. The same thing that was committed to your people is not the same thing that was committed to his people. His people, our people, were created to rule. Adam, in the beginning, was created to rule. Adam was a so-called black man. Hold that, give me Genesis 2. Genesis chapter 2. Adam was commissioned to rule the world. Genesis chapter 2 and verse 7. Yes, sir. I want you to know this so you can take this back to your community. We, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God, and, who? and the Lord God. So the, the Lord God that created all people, we, formed man. Do what? Formed man. So the Bible says God formed man. But this man is talking about Adam. And we're going to show you how he was formed for you. We, of the dust of the ground. The Bible says he was formed of the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Give me Jeremiah 14. What color is the dust of the ground? We're going to show you. We're going to show you. Jeremiah chapter 14. The dust of the ground was dark. Dark. We. This is the book of Jeremiah chapter 14 verse 2. Come on. Judith mourned. Who? Judith mourned. So the Bible says the tribe of Judah, the same tribe that Christ came from in the book of Hebrews, says that Christ came from Judah. And he says the tribe of Judah is in mourning. Right. Meaning they're in lack of understanding. Right. Lack of knowledge. Bring it out. A lack of knowledge of self. Right. Not knowing who they are. They're mourning. Teach up. When you go to a funeral, you mourn. Right. We are in a destroyed estate. We. And the gates thereof language. And the gates meaning the leaders. The leaders, gates is supposed to represent protection. Bring it out. And there's supposed to be leaders or guards at the gates. Right. Watchmen at the gates to watch and warn the people of danger. Right. But the Bible says the leaders of the black community or the Israelite community are in want, languish. We. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are black. What else? 
Unto the ground. No, where? Unto the ground. So guess what? The same ground that Adam came from. When God formed man of the dust of the ground, when he formed Adam of the dust of the ground, it was black, it was dark that's soil. What? Bring it up. That's the ground, that's the soil that created Adam. That's right. Guess what? That same soil is in you. Right. That same life was in you. Bring it up. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 